In this video, we're going to learn how to run LLMs in safe tensors format from Hugging Face on our own machine using a Llama. Hugging Face hosts almost 700,000 machine learning models. And these models are available for many different libraries. One of the most popular is safe tensors. And there are, are 150,000 models that use safe tensors. So safe tensors is a reasonably new, simple format. It aims to be fast and store sensors safely so that you won't be running arbitrary code on your own machine. And I'd say most of the models that you see using safe tensors tend to be PyTorch models, although you, other formats could choose to use safe tensors. So we're going to do a search for a model by Noose Research, and we'll click through to that model. And then let's open the files and versions on another tab, and now we'll scroll down. So this model was created by merging the Hermes 2 Pro and then Meta's Llama 3 models. So this merging models idea is a bit of a, a new concept, sort of trying to get the, the best of two different models, I guess. Let's have a look at the files. So you can see the most interesting thing is we've got four different safe tensor files in here, and then there's a bunch of other configuration that goes with it. Now we're gonna download all these files to our machine. So let me just quickly copy the model name. Now there are lots of ways of downloading these files to your computer. So if you have a way that you like already, please continue to use that. My current favorite is this tool called Hugging Face Model Downloader. I'll link to it in the comments below. So I've downloaded that and we're gonna call that and then put hyphen M and paste in the model name and then we'll run it. And you can see it starts downloading all the files. Now the cool thing feature that it has is that we can then kill the download and then if we resume it, it kind of picks up where it left off. Let's speed this up so that we're somewhere near the end. And you can see it's now finished. And the amount of files that it's downloaded will be just under 20 gigabytes in total. So make sure you've got the space on your machine before you run that. If we have a look at the downloads folder, you can see it's created a folder under there called Noose Research Hermes 2 Theta Llama 3 8B. And then we've got all the files under there. Now, at this point, we could choose to use the model with the Transformers library, but I prefer to use a Llama, even though it's a little bit more work in this case. If you haven't used a Llama before, it's like Docker, but for LLMs, and it's available on Mac, Linux, and Windows. If you've not used it before, I'll link some videos in the comments to get you started. Now, usually when you're using a Llama, you'll be using an LLM that the Llama folks have already set up, but you can also configure your own ones, and that's what we're gonna do here. So we need to create ourselves a model file. And then the first thing is we need to say, well, where, where's the model coming from? So we put this from, and then it's going to be dot forward slash downloads, and then the noose research folder name. Next, we need to define the template that the model uses. So if we go back to the model page on Hugging Face and we scroll down a little bit, you can see it shows us what the template looks like. Now we're not going to copy it directly, but you can see the structures there. So we've got an IM underscore start, then we've got system, and then it closes the IM start, and then we've got user, and then it closes it, and then we've got assistance. So we kind of can see roughly how it's going to work. So let's type in template, and then we're going to do a, a triple quotes for the string. We'll say if we've got a system message, we're going to put that inside an IM start and an IM end, and then we'll close it. This is, this is using the ginger syntax. Then we're going to do another IM start for the user prompt and then we'll close it. And then finally, we're gonna put in a system and that's where the response will come in. We're also gonna put, put in some stop parameters. So I've copy pasted these from the Alama GitHub page. Again, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Now it's time to create it. So we can call, we're gonna time it and we'll call Alama create and then we'll put pass in minus F. So where's the model file? And then give a name to our model. And you can see it starts transferring the model data, unpacking the model metadata, processing the tensors, and then converting the model. And then we'll speed things uh, up a bit. It goes through creating layers, writing the manifest. And you can see it takes just under two minutes to create this model. If we have a look at Alarma list, you can see it's sitting there right at the top, just created, and it's 17 gigabytes in size. Now this will be, this is another 17 gigabytes on top of the 20 gigabytes. So you're gonna make, need to make sure you have uh, enough space available to do this. And then we can run it. So we're gonna run it, we'll pass in the model name, and we'll say what would happen in a fight between a lion and a unicorn. And so it addresses the question, kind of gives us an, an, a, a, its opinion on, on what would happen. And then at the end, we get back how long it took. So it was 30 seconds. The load duration, this time it was seven seconds. So I did stop Alarma before I ran this, and this time it loaded it in seven seconds. I found sometimes it was taking up to 20 seconds to load this one. And then you can see down the bottom the eval rate, which was at 19 tokens a second. So that all worked pretty well. We can also use a Llama to quantize models. Now, LLMs at a high level have an array of floating point numbers where each number is 16 bits in size. 
And quantizing the model means we're using a technique to reduce the number of bits for each of those numbers, while hopefully not losing too much performance on the LLM itself. So it's most common to reduce the size to say four bits per entry. And the benefit of doing this is that the LLM will take less memory so we can run it on like co commodity hardware. And it will also then generate more tokens per second. So let's see how we would do that. So we're gonna get back our create command. And what we'll do is we'll just change the name. So we'll put a colon Q4 underscore zero on there. And then we can pass in hyphen hyphen quantize and then the quantization that we wanna do. And you can see I'll put in there on the bottom, there are, these are from the GitHub page of Alama. These are the different quantizations that you can do. So the bigger it is, the bigger the model's gonna be, the smaller it is, uh, the smaller it's gonna be. And obviously the performance uh, adjusts depending on what you do. You can see this is a little bit quicker because I guess it's using it from a previous time that I did it and it takes just under a, uh, a minute to complete. It'll take a little bit longer the first time that you do it. So we can do a llama list again and you can see it's there on the top and this time it's just under five gigabytes in size. But remember that's another five gigabytes. We've got a five, a 16 and then the initial 20. So we need 40 gigabytes to, to do what I've done in this video. And then we can choose, let's go and find our llama run. We'll just tweak the name of the model and we can run it again. And you'll notice, even though I'm gonna speed it up, this is actually generating like much more quickly. So again, the low duration, seven seconds, total duration, 13 seconds, but it's working at 51 tokens per second. So if you liked this video, but you don't want to use the Llama, check out this video up here where I show how to use hugging face models using the transformer library.